Thanks, man. See you later, man. Yeah. If I drink, just because I get stretched out, you know, just catch up here. You always just want to have some, you know. Got in my van, man. Uh, I found another van, like, with my loved one. I think they got crashed. They had to find it for me. So, Daddy found me a one similar to mine, and what a coincidence. It was, uh, it was already yellow. Crazy, right? Yeah, you know, there's a guy that loved this and it wasn't the van. It's not as fancy in the back. But, you know, you may still have that, I guess. I was sleeping in there. You know, these cabs out here, they just be hassling me sometimes. And, you know, I go to jail and you know, it's hard to just get my money back up and work and do it. So I can go to get my, you know, priorities back to you know, these cabs. Room. Like riders get straight and then they just get real. It's like an entrance, you know. Like the cats are fucking ridiculous. Wait. Yeah, I just think I saw a bunch of cats up here just flashing their headlights, you know. Got to do some games. Hey, what you going kind to of cash for, lady? Yeah, I'm not by the pumps. I'm by my dealer. I, I want me to go by the pumps. I'll go by the pumps. Smoke by the pumps. I ain't doing anything. Just smoking sugar, man. Wait for my gas to fill up, man. I'm not standing by the pumps. We should, we should be fine, man. We should be fine. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Just gotta wait for my fucking gas to fill up. Jesus, these guys are here just driving recklessly, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know that she if this tank takes a while to fill up, so I'm just gonna let it fill up and smoke that shit, man. But all the time in the room, man, it's crazy. They closed this uh, gas place up, you know? They, they, they put a, they put a, Airport here with that, you know, it's crazy, you know. Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. I wonder where Dickie's at, man. I haven't seen him in a while. 
I know some trouble happened back in Chicago, I thought. I mean, he said that he had to lay low, and then I could have swear he said that he, he saw him come out here or whatnot. Okay. Oh, what's going on, man? Okay. What's going on, man? You can't be smoking by the pump. No, I'm not by the pumps. I told the lady that I'm by my door. I could have went next to the pumps if she wanted me to. I mean, I'll put you know, it out though. Okay, yeah, just just don't go too close to the pumps. You know, the gas station could explode and then you'll lose your van. Yeah, I, I know. I just got this back, man. It's You're a, gonna live. Yeah, I don't got a place out here to live. Yeah, because your bar got burned down by your damn piece of shit cousin. Oh, by the yeah. way, there's another person that has, like, almost the same name as you in town now. W what do you mean? Well, his name's Mickey uh, Flowers, but it's, uh, U-R-S instead of, instead of how it should be spelled. Oh, that's not legit. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird because I'm the only Mickey Sticky Flowers that should be around here, man. It might be the guy following you. Yeah, it's a Mickey Flowers. I mean... You're doing... You're being stalked, man? That kind of sucks. Yeah, he says some guy is, like, recording me and whatnot, and there's these videos of us getting pulled over, me and my brother, and then me and my brother were in Chicago watching my TV at my house, and what do you know, we came across a TV channel that had, like, me and my brother in his van getting pulled over by the cops. It's crazy, man. Shit, that's like... Wait, wait, Mickey, you weren't born 5-24-1970, were you? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm, That's when this guy was born. Uh, but, 53. Uh, let me, time race. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I don't know. His picture is like a skyline. I don't think that's legitimate. Hey, let, let me go check my ID. I'll tell you. It's been a while. I'm jet lagged, man. I just came from Chicago, man. So Mickey, what trouble you been up in getting into? Anything? Staying clean still? Yeah. Oh, uh, where he clean. also? Cause this is also EY. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it. Hold on. A few moments later. Yeah, my ID says 1960, man. Yeah, I don't know why that picture of your son's still there. Well, I don't know why the DMV would even put a picture of my son dead laying on the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he's deceased. I mean, I mean. It is, it is what it is. I mean, Dicky, he went to jail for that. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird, man. Yeah, I mean, he's the one that killed my son. Talked to him I about that. It. Yeah, well, I, I, I killed my wife, but she deserved it because, like, back in Wisconsin, man, she was in the car with me, and we were driving, and she was causing, like, a lot of issues with me and whatnot, and then we got out of the car, and then she had a gun or something on her, and then she threw me off a bridge, man. Jesus. So I almost died, and then the cops saved, one of the cops came and saved my life, and then when I got better, I went back to the trailer that she owned in uh, Sandy over here, and went inside that trailer, and then she, she was trying to, like, plead guilty or whatever, say her sorry or whatever, and then I just took the bottle I had and just sliced her up, and then, you know, did I did, and yeah, I served time for that, sex, but... You know, she tried killing me, so, you know, I, I figured if she's going to try to kill me, I might as well finish it before she finishes it, you know? Wait, so you killed your, wait, so he killed your wife or you did? I killed my wife, he killed my son, because my son, he was he really close to me, but when me and Dickie were kind of getting in trouble back in, like, Ventura days, L.A. days, and even Wisconsin days, and Indiana days, and everywhere we've been around the map, he's been always, like, trying to find me and going to the police and snitching on me, man. Oh, so then, well, so then Dicky said he's got to go. So Dicky took care of my son, and then Mona was trying to snitch too, but she didn't like Mickey Jr. being around with me. So then I killed my wife, and then he killed my son, and then eventually we got caught and went to jail for that. But uh, I guess it's well worth it, I guess. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I just came here to make sure you're not smoking by the pump. So I guess just, you know. Just be careful. I mean, the, I told you're, you weren't even that close. The lady here is just kind of a bitch. Yeah, to be I, I told her. I said, you want me to go by the pumps? I'll, I'll, I'll put it out and go over there and light another one up. And then she said, no, don't. And I said, all right, then. Why'd you call the cops? And she said, they'll take care of you. You're going to go to jail, you criminal. 
I think she was angry because like her garage got shut down. Yeah, she she was yelling about that, saying that they built like an airport here. Yeah, I don't think she's happy about the airport. Well, you have a nice day, Mickey. Don't yeah, don't she, be getting in any she, trouble. Chicago's got a drag strip here, not an airport. Oh really? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. All right. Well, I'll see you later, man. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. I don't want the rest yet. Yeah. Right, go get some drugs. Yeah, let's go get some drugs, man. Fucking see. I wonder if he's gonna give me a for that side of side. No, he kept going. There's probably still some possessions up in that burnt house of uh, mine, so. I'm gonna try to be quick about this. Make sure that I got my, uh, my keys with me, you know. open Got it. Ah, oh, man, it looks terrible in here. Jesus. Ah, oh, crazy. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, let's see. Shit. No way. No way. Ah, oh, no way. I found a pistol. I forgot I had that. Ah. Oh, and, ah, oh, there's, oh, there, there's a couple stacks in here. Oh, nice. Let's see, yeah. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. 
Ah, shit. Fuck. This place is a wreck. Hopefully there's no cats walking by. right there. Make sure you know, you know, kind of skeptical. Is that a cop in the area? I think that was him, man. That's not cool. He's in the area, man. I think he's follow. about that place is every time you hit the fence and you always do it to go Alright, I just gotta take these drugs and we drop them off to Eddie, man. It's all planned out when it came out here. I knew what I was going to do. Go back to my house. I said that I got to meet him up here at the abandoned motels. There's a room. Should get out, man. Got scared, man. 
What does that Tesla do, man? Kind of getting sketched out. Might have to call Eddie and tell him to cancel it. Uh, he's just right up there. He's waiting in the room. Fuck it. Just luck. Just luck. Don't mind me. Then we have to get kind of scared. I don't know if that's for me. I'm just going to pretend it's not. Uh, surprised those drugs lasted. I mean, it wasn't a burnt safe. I made the drop in that room. I'm not sure which room you was in, but just stay hiding up there wherever you're at. I know we were supposed to meet. Uh, you, you could just PayPal me on that card you gave me the last time and send me the money. All right, man. I know you're good for it. Yeah, I know. It sucks that uh, we, we had a nice little thing setting up with that THC sandwich Dickie came up with. And, you know, before Paco and Tuco passed away, you know. He was going to take over and all that nonsense happened, you know. It, it, it sucks, you know. It is what it is, but... Yeah. It's fucking crazy, man. Hey, man. Uh, I'm hearing my phone buzz and whatnot. I'm going to get back in my van and we'll see what's going on, you know. Talk to you later, man. See what's going on.
Yeah, here we go. That's my belt on. Daddy. Call Eddie up and go pull off somewhere and tell him, you know, hey man, you know. I guess my phone buzz, he sent the money that quick, man. It's pretty trustworthy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Later that same evening. Ah, uh, did that cop just flip on me, man? I was gonna try to pull me over. Go and get me a fucking drink. Give me some food. Fuck up. Ah, oh, shit. What's going on, Sandra? Long time no see, man. Hey, did your back door still work? I'm gonna have to use it. This fucking cop out there, man. See if uh, my buddy uh, is up here. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, there's fucking cops out there, bro. I, I, no, I know. I, did, I didn't bring him here. I, 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 did, no, I didn't mean to, man. Come on, Bruce. Come on, man. I know you just bought this place out here so you can have another hideout to come, but come on, man. I didn't bring him. Fuck. I don't know. It's hard to see out this fucking window, man. I mean, he's out there. He's fucking watching. He's fucking waiting for me, man. I'll take a bump with you, man. Just one little bump. Ain't gonna hurt. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, gonna, I'm just paranoid. I'm in a rush. I'm being followed. And then earlier, I, I could have swore I was being talked to by this guy that said that, you know, his, these vlogs and, and just get freaked out, you know? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> shit. Fuck. Yeah, alright Sandra. Thanks for letting me go see my buddy back upstairs. Appreciate it. Fuck, he's still out there watching me. I wish there was like a second exit, you know, I could take and just go. This is kind of 4 by 4 I, mean, I could. I don't know what the fuck he's following me for. Oh fuck. Look, let's get out of here. Now that guy's finally gonna try to pull me over.
cap and that cap blew out. I mean, did he? I mean, is he still sitting there? Must be watching Netflix. He's gonna go there and get some drinks or whatnot, but I don't know now. Okay, that cop's stalking me. You gotta go, dude? You got the fucking right away, dude. Later. This ain't good. Howdy, sir. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, David D. also has playing kind of sheriff's department. Uh, would you have another reason for the stop? Uh, I have no idea, man. I'm just trying to just drive around and go run my errands, man. Uh, well, we've gotten two calls on you uh, bearing different things. Uh, the most recent one, yeah, the most recent one is for, uh, you were speeding and almost hit somebody. Uh, well, she, she almost hit me, man, so it's like, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's hearsay, you know, he said, she said, but as I was yeah. trying to catch up to you from that intersection that I was sitting at, you were driving recklessly, crossing a solid yellow line, you know, Oh, I didn't I know. know I didn't know this was solid. I thought it was dash, man. This is a new road. I never really been on it before. Uh, well, if you aren't aware, you're not allowed to cross solid yellow lines. And yeah. Solid white lines. Yeah, I just thought it looked dotted to me. I never been on this road before. It must be new. All right. Is this uh, Mr. Flowers driving the van? Yeah, that's me. All right. I'm Mr. Flowers. If I can have your uh, ID and. Uh, Registration for insurance. Yeah, let me go grab that for you, man. Uh. There you go, man. Alright. Chris Flowers, have you, uh, you have anything in the vehicle you know about guns, knives, drugs, alcohol, bombs, etc. Uh, bom no, no, bom bombs, no, 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 no. I don't got nothing like that. I mean, I got like five joints on me. Alright, do you have a uh, medical marijuana card on there? Oh, I don't need that out here. This is California. It's legal. Yeah, I don't need a medical card. Alright, sir. And even if I, even if it wasn't, I do have it. You want it? Oh uh, yeah, I'll take it just for sake, sake. Well, just look it up for now. All right. There you go. All right, so I got some tag for you. Hey right, man. I didn't know what the fuck he needed my fucking medical marijuana card when I gave it to him. Ask me if I got a medical marijuana card. The fuck? It's a legal fucking state, man. In like California. I could see if I was like back in Indiana or something or another state that wasn't legal. Yeah. Or where's my card? And how much do I got, you know? Cops is hassling me, man. Fucking crazy. 
you better not come back asking me about my past, man, because uh, that's what the last cop did when I was with Dickie. You start bringing up the past, man. We ain't gonna talk about that. that that's the past, man. That. I'm pretty sure he's done some things in the past. You, you don't see me fucking talking about the things he's done in the past. I mean, I don't know the things he's done, but, you know, if he's ever done, I you don't see me sitting there bringing it up if I knew. I mean, allegedly, there's some other guy out here that's got my name and whatnot. It's crazy. But this town's gone to, you know, complete trash, you know. I mean, it's not like how it used to be. Bunch of new people I don't fucking know. A lot of people that I did know are fucking gone. Fucking buildings are closing down. Other buildings that I don't really care for are opening up. It's like crazy. You know. I guess that's that, that's the government for you. you know, tear a building down, put a new building up, even though that they didn't want the other building torn down the people in the city and they did it anyways. Fucking yeah. See what this cat's got to fucking say. Hi, Miss Flowers. Hey, what's going on, man? Here's your information back. Yeah, oh, um, thanks, man. I'm gonna let you get with a warning today because you said you haven't really been out on this road and your eyes might be playing tricks on you. It's all right. Um, just real quick, while I was running your information, it says you previously had a CDL. Are you aware of that? Pre? Oh, well, yeah. I got it taken away like a long time ago. Alright, I was just making sure you were aware it was made to take, take it away because it just popped up out of nowhere for me. Yeah, I got that taken away a, a while ago and I got in trouble for driving a, a truck out here and then I think it was Isaac, he pulled me over and then I haven't drove one since then because I ain't trying to go to jail. Yeah, well I was just letting you know, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, I uh, appreciate it I guess. No problem. With that being said, you, uh, you're free to go, just give me a verbal warning. Nothing too hey. serious. Alright, just stay safe out here, man. Hey. Fucking pig. Fucking bring up my fucking old fucking wreck. I told you he was gonna bring something over that. Bring stuff up. Did you know you see the hell? Yeah, how you fucking knew about that? You just think I fucking forgot? Oh yeah, guess what? I'm gonna hop inside this truck and drive it, even though I know I need a special license. I don't have that anymore. I thought I had it. I for sure did thought I had it. That's crazy, man. Hey, it's a fire station over here. Oh, it's literally like the fire station I have uh, in Chicago, but it's over there. Yeah, it's back. I'm being fucking fall by this fucking cop. Man. Are you serious? Uh, I was about to say I'm being pulled over. I was about to say I was I was me and that cop were about to you know box. about to pull me over again, man. I'm about to be like, what the hell, man? I was only doing like five over. I think it's like 50 on that road or something, man. Hey, it's me if I have any guns and stuff. I ain't gonna tell him if I have a gun on me. 
should have told me I got a gun and pulled it out and like, you want to see if it works? I told you he was going to bring up some fucking nonsense and shit. These fucking new cops, man. Just, the past is the past. We don't talk about the past anymore. And then they bring up the fucking past and we don't fucking talk about it. Tomorrow for sure. What's going on, man? Not much. How about you? Not much. You're just driving around. Doing anything fun around town? Yeah, nah. It's kind of quiet out here tonight. Say again? It's kind of quiet out here tonight, man. Yeah, it kind of is. You getting into any trouble or are you staying clean today, sir? Nah, I'm staying clean. I never get into trouble. Uh-huh. I know your record. What's my name if you know who I am? Say what? You don't know who I am. Weren't you over there before in the yellow van at the uh, gas pump smoking a cigarette? Oh, I was earlier, but the, but the other cop that came said that the lady just was being rude. I was nowhere near to punch. Oh, yeah. You know that other cop that showed up? I was in his passenger seat of his cruiser. That's why I only overheard it. Oh. Ah. We're actually looking for that Mustang mach -E guy. Apparently, he's uh, getting into a bit of trouble around town, so we're trying to find him. Yeah, I haven't seen no Mustang. Have you, have you actually... Uh, when was the last time? I know we saw him at that gas station. Did you, did you see him by chance anywhere else? Yeah, and no, to be honest with you, I, I haven't really seen him after the first incident. Damn, okay. Well, if you see him, call 911 just let us know. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Fucking big. Always ask me to do shit for them. Fucking asses. Do your own job. I ain't about getting a good call it stitch or what? Looking for some marquee guys or whatever. My ass. Fuck off. <laughs> I ain't fucking helping. You ask me if I can fucking help him. I'm just over here getting gas, man. Fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm on the opposite side of the road. <laughs> Whoops. I oh, have my seatbelt. Put my seatbelt back on. Ah, shit. Not that one. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, the captain, uh... Jordan with the LSP, I need to stop you. Uh, I have no idea, man. Okay, got your clock going 62 with a 50. Oh, my bad, man. Well, you can get your uh, license registration proof of insurance. Yeah, one second, man. There you go, man. Make you flowers, man. Uh, profit is yours. Yeah, this vehicle is mine, man. 
Oh là, il s'est fait. Ask if this vehicle stolen. This is my vehicle. Why this vehicle be stolen? It makes no sense. These fucking rookies, man. They don't. He said, "Well, he's quite a captain or a corporal." Nah, he's still a rookie. I don't even know who this guy is, man. He should have known. Anything yellow, it belongs to Mickey and Dicky, man. Fucking pigs. So you're 62, and right? this van barely goes over 55, man. Shit, are you, though, dude? But you know, it's like I want to be on my way, man. Alrighty, sir. What's going on? Uh, I don't got nothing in the vehicle, man. Okay, have any uh, drugs? Drugs? I don't do drugs, yeah. man. I smoke weed. Smoke oh, weed? Alright, when was the last time you smoked it? Uh, probably about last night when I was parked up at a, like, a parking garage over there by Stab City. Okay. Uh, give me two seconds. Yeah, he's going to visit. Shit, I got a gun in here. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna tell him he can't search the van. He's got all right to search me. If he tells me to step out, I'll step out. He can search me. He's not searching this van. Alright, what we're gonna be doing is we'll be bringing down a K9 unit, okay? Okay, he's just gonna yeah. go around. Yep, he's just gonna go around your vehicle, alright? Alright, man. Or, uh, anything that could make the dog indicate that there's drugs in here. Alright, man. Mm hmm? I said, alright, man. Something just came out that door, I don't see it. Not legit. Alrighty, sir, can you step out of the vehicle? Alright, man. Uh, come over here. Alright. Oh, there's a dog, now I see. Alright, is there any uh, narcotics on you? Uh, I mean, I got some weed on me. Okay, do you mind if I can search you? Yeah, man. on the vehicle. Alrighty. Okay, you have a uh, medical license for this? Yeah, man, that's California. You don't need a license out here for that. I mean, I do got one, but you don't need it. You sure about that? Yeah, it's California, man. It's legal out here. Anyone can go into a shop and buy it. As long as you're of age. And how old are you? I was born in 1960, man. 
When was the last time you smoked, sir? Uh, I told this guy last, uh, it was last night when I, I slept at a parking garage over there. Well, it wasn't a garage, it was a little uh, cutoff by Stab City, and I slept for the night. Uh, yeah, I was God. just driving, he said I was doing 60-something miles per hour. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with him, but, I mean, this van barely goes over 55. Well, I find that hard to believe, because uh, back there on Joshua, where the little cutoff is, and the <laughs> tunnel under the train track, I clocked you at 60. 60? 63 to be exact. Under, under the tunnel, I would never be doing 60 over there. No, it was on Joshua Road by the tunnel. Oh, I, I don't recall that. Well, you saw me and you immediately turned around and <laughs> went for the desert, so. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any reason you did that? Uh, well, I don't, I don't recall seeing this guy, so I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> I really don't recall Z. Uh, I gotta go back and check. No, it's okay. Fine, dude. Alright, just sit there, so I'm gonna be getting your citation. Yeah, you mean. Aw, oh, here comes that bike. <laughs> Got the ass. Who's gonna be getting in trouble? Are you sure? Are you primary on this? Listening. I'm trying to listen. So, we can get a canine, go for it. If not, though, if you let him go, we can keep the investigation going and possibly find a dealer or a seller. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're talking about me from earlier, maybe. I'm suspicious. That's good. I'll leave you alone. Suspicious. Yeah, they drive off, buddy. Over here trying to get this cop to me up with more charges. What the fuck is that cat doing? What? What? What is that? I don't want to know. Alrighty, sir. Go get the citation today, okay, for going 115 over. <laughs> Alright. Alright, man. Alright, come on. Here's my signature in there. Alright, alright. Here they go, Should we slow them? Hey, man. Alright, thanks for coming. Yeah, now I gotta go get to, get to the drug dealer, man. Search me. I mean, if they would have searched a car, yeah, I got a pistol in there. I would have been screwed on that one. I got joints on me. I don't. Wait, did he give me my joints? I don't even think he gave me my joints back, bro. He gave me my. I don't even think. I don't even recall him giving me anything. I'm gonna get pulled over by out of the last cop that he. Well, maybe my ID. But the weed, no. I think he kept that motherfucker. He didn't give that back to me. I'm pissed. I'm gonna tell the next cop that, like, fuck, man. 
fucking excited. I hear a fucking cop siren getting horns, man. See what does this list say? Uh, I got places to drop off. I gotta go towards Coachella. Make a little drop off there. They, they want some more of this weed that's in the bag. Gonna make a little coke drop off at the boathouse. The bikers at the Rasta bar. They want some coke and some weed. And some some H, uh, HTC things. Let's stop at Coachella first. He said I was doing 60 something. And he said I saw them. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm literally gonna go back in that video later to get a bit of see. There at that part, basically put a little snippet. I don't recall seeing them. I, I really don't recall seeing them. He said I saw him and then I heard him made that cutoff because I was doing 60. I don't, rec I don't recall that. He said I went to Coachella. I mean, yeah, that did happen. Yeah, he's correct. I don't recall any of that though. Yeah. What's going My on, new man? thing is 1930s Bulgarian cinema. Oh, Whatever. It is. Hey, that was rude. That's your fucking girlfriend, man. Yeah, I'm here to give you the fucking weed, man. So, um, I'm gonna drop off. Spending $200 on vintage footwear is anti capitalism. Whatever. Bags of weed. All right, man. See you guys later. Have a good one. How goes it? How did the road less traveled get so crowded? My whole life feels like a rerun. Like it's all been done before. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Right, go to the next place. We'll go to the boat as next. Yeah. We'll go to the boathouse next and then we'll go to some of the other areas. I know the rest of the boat is so that'll probably be at the boathouse. Yeah. Well, let's head to our next location. So far, so good. Besides that cop pulling me over and taking my fucking joints. I don't even think I got those joints back, man.
that. Sell this stuff in the back. Yeah. Tell me to come to the back there. Yeah, it's all there. You can count it if you want. To the Rasta bar. Just have to take a little detour. That's fine. His radar can fucking catch me. I ain't no. I ain't dumb. He's literally kitty quartering me. I ain't speeding, I ain't dumb. I wonder if he kept going on that road. It'd be crazy if he did. I ain't dumb. I'm gonna go make another drop off. I would say I probably got like, after this, I did this would be my third stop. I'll say I got like, maybe two more. Maybe two or three more. Let's go to the back. Hope that wasn't a wall. Let's see. 
bag back out. Hey, what's going on? I'm here to see a guy named Johnny downstairs. Hey, he's down there, right? Yo, what's going on, Johnny? You're down here. It's Mickey, man. I'm here to drop off the drop off. Uh, in the room? Alright. Let's go in the room. Sounds good to me. Oh shit, you got a little... A little spot to put the stuff. Alright. I'm gonna drop it right here. Here you guys go. Let's get out of here, man. See you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Do, 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 do. Shit, let's get out of here. Yeah, fuck. Let's get out of this place. I got like two more snaps left. Yeah, that. Oh, was that a cop? Was that a cop? Oh shit, oh fuck. Going, bro. Gosh. I think there's a cop, man.
gonna get you dragged out of here, okay? Okay. It's Isaac. Oh. Is that you, Mickey? Yeah, that's me. Is that you, Isaac? It is. We're, we're not gonna oh. let anything bad happen to you, okay? I appreciate it. These bikers have shot me for no reason. Fuck, that's Mickey, dude. Shit. <laughs> that's him right there. Oh. Yeah, it's Mickey. Well, we found him. Fuck, now I wanted to find him. You just oh. stay with me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what they did to me, but they shot me. Like that? Yeah. Then they blew up, they blew up my van. Do we need a med bag? Yeah. Alright, I got one. Uh, why does it smell like bacon over here? Well, you, I, I think it's you. Oh. You're, you're a little crispy right now, Mickey. That is not good. Well, your, your car got set, or your van got set on fire. I know, I just recently got that uh, story. What, what were you doing here with them? I, I had to come talk to this guy that someone else wanted me to talk to, and I came to talk to him, and then he didn't like that I was in his neighborhood, and he shot me. Alright, so did he get stabbed or shot? Uh, he got shot three times in the right side chest, and then he's also got some pretty severe burns. Alright, hey so. Mickey, how you feeling on breathing right now? Are you feeling a little... Let me get a pulse ox on his fingers so I can get up breathing if I have to. We're, we're not going to put chest seals or anything adhesive on them. That's just going to make uh, things worse. Oh, God, no, yeah, no. We're going to have to do, uh, we can do burn gauze. But uh, my question is, I want to know how his airway is. I want to make sure it's patent and clear. And if it's not, we're going to do a king. He's still talking with us, so. Oh, was he? I couldn't hear. And, I mean, we can't do kings or igels or any of that uh, shit. I, I can breathe well, I can breathe pretty good. I'm a uh, parent. Just, it hurts. Yes. Not in this job. Yeah, same Today you're an officer. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fine. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to carry ALS bags. I wish I. I wish we could. Yeah, Are we. I think we're trying to get it happening because I'm on the paramedic team over same person. You know what I mean, different, different job, different day. I can go grab an ambulance if we need one. No, we'll just get them county transported. They should be just about. Hey, Mickey, you should stations. be going to uh, Sandy. Is he gonna go to Sandy or Toledo? He'll go up to Toledo. All right. Hey, Mickey, uh, when no, you get to Toledo again. Bay Hospital, I'll be here to talk to you. Okay. All right. All right I'm gonna make my way there so I can go talk to him. Get county ambulance on route. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that.
I'm pregnant again. Oh, it'll be fine. The tax credit alone pays for the first few months of diapers. me to go to a yoga class with it. I might just do it. Exactly. Ooh. You know, whatever it takes. So, let's hook up this weekend. Car is fucked. Fucking van, man. It been, I basically kind of got that out of storage, even though it wasn't my storage. Someone else's in body. Fucking that van's gone. Look, fist van's gone. That's gone. Oh. Oh my God. Hello. Oh. Hello. So that's a cop. I, I knew that was a cop. Yeah. Fuck. Hey, Cage so you can transport. Hey Mickey, how you doing today? Yeah, doing okay. a little bit better. Well, unfortunately, your day is not going to go so well. My name is Corporal Stowe, San Jose State Police Narcotics Division. You mind if you turn around? Yeah, sure. I'll turn around. Right, this time, Mickey, you're, you're being detained for illusion yeah. of narcotics. What do you mean, illusion of narcotics? Well, Mickey, I've been in that Maki all day. I've been following you. I've seen what you've been oh, doing. Oh, I, I knew I knew that was a cop when I saw you at the uh, the the motels. Yeah, well, I've been photographing you all day too, and what you've been doing. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. yeah so when you went to the boat docks, I uh, was in a bush photographing you go around the rear. So you go around the rear, and then you drop something off. When I got there, I had a canine search the area. They found the bag. I tested and found my. Positive test for weed and cocaine. Uh, Am I wrong? Well, to be honest with you, no, you're not wrong. All right. So at this time, you're under arrest. You're very turning silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in court of law. You're very turning. You cannot afford. I knew this was like a the court. You understand these rights I've read to you? Yeah, I understand, man. All right. So at this time, you are under arrest for possession of narcotics and intent to sell. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, man. I'm sorry, Mickey. I you you even told me you're going down a better path, but well, I was. But, but my, my my buddy told me to just do a few favors for him and it helped me out. You know, I'm I'm I don't got a house no more out here, man. My bar's burnt down. Yeah, I understand. I, I was there that day, so yeah. I was in the fire department, so yeah. We're gonna have a unit come transport you. Hopefully, we can make it quick and easy. Actually, I may cancel that unit. We could probably just go to the PE right here. Hopefully, don't. You know. Three King to that unit coming at the cage. You can actually cancel your trip. I am right down the road from Cleta by PD. I'm just gonna take him there real quick by foot. By foot? <laughs> You're gonna go in the back of the Maki. Uh, I'm gonna pat you down real quick. See if you have anything on you. Also, Mickey, is that hand gonna come back to you? The what? That was in your van. You had a firearm in your van. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not speaking about that. All right. Three King to to the unit that found the firearm in his van. Did you, per chance, were you able to run the seal number on it? Roger, thank you. Alright, that firearm's gonna come down to the station with me. Alright, man. I mean, I don't know whose that is. You can have it. <laughs> well, Mickey, the problem is it was found in your van, so you're gonna be charged with possession of a firearm. Uh, hey, don't, hey, come on, man. I'm on a better path. Don't call me a felon. Unfortunately, well, the problem is you're a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. That's the only problem. Well, I mean, if there's a firearm in there, I didn't know about it. I mean, I bought that van off of someone off of uh, that that list on the internet because I had to get Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist, man. 
getting the problem as Mickey, unfortunately, in this state, if it's in your vehicle, which is under your name, I ran that license plate multiple that van's in your name, uh, meaning it's your legal ownership, so you should know what's in your vehicle, so you're technically in possession of it, no matter if it's yours uh, or not. Ah, man, come on, man. You can just cut me a break. Mickey, I would love to cut your break on other things, so if it was like a speeding infraction, but man, this is a felony infraction. I can't cut your break on felonies. Ah, uh, man. Oh, this is nice over here. Yes, yes it is. At least you're going on a nice cruiser. Well, this ain't even a cruiser. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no cage back here. Yeah, I'm just praying to God that you're going to handcuff and try to do shit. I'd never do anything to you guys, man. Whoa! What? We did, oh, in my eyes, we just hit that the wall. Oh, no, no, we're gonna work close to the wall. My apologies if you saw that. No, no you're good, you're good. Alright, so I have an officer coming up here with that firearm. We're gonna run the seal number on it. I'm praying, Mickey, it comes to you, or I'm hoping Wait, it doesn't happen. You're, uh, you're, case of you're, you're praying the gun comes back to me? Well, it come, it's better if it does come back to you. Because if it's stolen, then it's worse. Well, if I bought the van from someone and they didn't take it out, technically I didn't steal it, did I? He's the one that didn't, is, he didn't take it out it, if I bought it, so that'd be on him, you know? Yeah, it's a gray area there, Mickey. I'm sorry. But we'll figure uh, it out. Alright, so I'm going to let you go, and you're just gonna, I'm going to hope you don't try to run away from me. I doubt it. If you do, you're going to get an extra charge. No, I'm you want to go stand against it. that wall for me? Yeah, I'll stand against the wall. All right, you know this goes. Just face me and smile. Hey, man. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I'm here pretty tall. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, that's all we gotta do there. So I'm gonna have you step outside, out this way. We're gonna um, go in a cell. Give a cell preference. Yeah, I don't care. It is whatever one's open, I guess. All right, that one works right there. One up front. All right. Alright, Mickey, wanna face the traps so I can remove your cuffs? Yep. There you go, Mickey. Alright. So, you are gonna be going to jail today. I'm um, waiting yeah. on that firearm, and then I'm gonna start running a bit of paperwork. I'm not gonna keep you here long, I'll finish writing the report later on, but, uh, I'm gonna start it. Give me five, five minutes, we'll get you out of here. Alrighty, man. Right. I don't wanna waste too much of your time. Alrighty, man. Alright, thank you. Come on, man. That cop knows you pretty well. Hey, Mickey, question. Do you remember the license plate on your van? Uh, it was MSF 4x4. MSF 4x4, thank you.
Mickey. Yeah. I'm going to do you a favor. We're going to make it plain and simple. I'm going to read off your charges, okay? Alrighty, man. <laughs> Let's see what he's giving me. I cut off a lot of the small ones that gave you some shit, but I have to charge you with these. So, unfortunately, you're going to be a felon in possession of a firearm. Ah. Uh, which is a class B felony. Ah. Uh, That's an $80,000 charge. Fuck. You're also going to be receiving a charge for receiving stolen property. That's a class B felony as well for $80,000. Ah, uh, that's not good. You're going to be hit with manufacturing or possession, possessing controlled substance, which is a class C felony, <laughs> as well as possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell, which is also a class C felony. Uh... Unfortunately, due to that last charge, you have the ability to have no bond until seen by a judge. Ah, uh, no bond? Come on, man. Yeah, you're at a total of $215,000 in fines. Uh, if they charge with the fine, uh, they can do fines or criminal time or 50 50. Uh, hopefully, or 75, I, guess, I guess, hopefully, 50 50. I mean, I don't got the money. They can also do other things, community service, as well as rehabilitation, and you can go to rehab and a few other court system appointed things. Um, I'm waiting on a final tally of time. Unfortunately, that firearm did come back as stolen. Ah, uh, come on, man. Uh, question is, I gotta test to see if that gun was used in any crimes, and if it was in a murder or anything like that, Mickey, I need to know right now. Well, if it was, it was before I had the gun. I never shot anyone with that gun. But that could put you in the case of polluting him with an investigation. You know what I mean, Mickey? It, it can come down to that, and you can be charged with the assistant of manslaughter or murder. Uh, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, I mean, so I gotta go run that through the NCIS system and all that with actual like FBI and all that uh, through their NCIC system, and I'm gonna get all that tallied up, and we'll get a sentencing sentencing in charge of how long you're gonna be in prison for, depending on what it comes down to. All right, man. All right, give me one more minute. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you get a gun and it comes back and, you know... <laughs> Lay a cry up, I'm gonna start crying as soon as he tells me that the gun comes back. No, well, I don't want to go to jail for a landslide. I didn't mean to kill that person. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to see Dickie ever again. I'm going to cause the scene as soon as he tells me.
Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, Mickey, uh... What's going on, man? We're gonna wait for Supervisor to get here. I got bad news. What's that, man? The firearm was used in a murder. Or, <laughs> no, not a murder, exactly. No, it can't be used in a murder. I don't want to get charged with that, man. No. So, the gun... Oh, I'm gonna no. give you the info. The gun came back to a man named Bruce Knight. He had shot some bikers <laughs> and missed, hit someone. Apparently, it was a misfire. Or, not a misfire, but he missed all his shots and hit someone. <laughs> um, no. But it, it does come back to that crime, and the, the kid unfortunately does look like he didn't make it. Oh, no, I don't want so, to. So no, no, but I have, I have I have a supervisor. Out. I'm gonna get it all figured out. We're gonna try to figure it out. Um, currently though, it looks like the maximum sentencing I have to do for you is gonna be 750 months. Uh, so let's wait to see what the supervisor says. But hopefully we can figure it out because it doesn't look like you used the firearm. It looks like it came back to someone else that had already used it, but I want to make sure since you're I in never, possession I of it. I never used it, man. I'd never shoot it. I understand, anyone. I understand. It, it, we all understand who used the firearm, but since you're in possession of it now, technically, I have to figure out what the process is, okay? Alrighty, I want to make sure man. I'm not doing, I want to make sure I'm doing this by the book and not doing you wrong. Alrighty, man. So we're going to wait for the supervisor to get here. It's going to be the 04 State Police, so he's the fourth highest up. Alrighty, so we're going to make sure it's all right. Which is, it's Isaac. <laughs> I told you I was gonna act the fool so it was the day we get back on your cry. I mean it comes back involved in the murder so I don't know. I mean technically I, I never bought I mean yeah I did buy the gun but you know and I had that. It's not in my name. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you come when you come back and you, Nikki's not around and you gotta figure out what you're gonna do for the day and you know it's kind of quiet to be honest with you. There's some bikers causing me, you know, but I haven't seen those guys that uh, we're supposed to work at the Yellow Jack for. I've been to the Yellow Jack a few multiple times in parts that you haven't seen uh, that I do step out, but. You know, everyone else is just it's kind of quiet. You really don't hey, Mickey, anything. also, I can do yeah. you a favor, you can do me a favor. Yeah, man. Are you making these drugs yourself, or are you getting them from someone? I, I, I'm getting them from someone. Are you willing to be a, would you be a uh, UC and be an informant? Uh, what does that mean, man? So basically, I can get you protection, we can lower your sentencing, but you have to do me a favor. What's that? Your job is going to try to help me bust down a bigger brain. You're a small fish in this sea of narcotics. I'm trying to go after the big fishes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I mean, the guy that I was selling to, he's out of town, but I know some... I mean, I'm not sure if they're here now, but the last time me and Dickie was at, like, that bar in Sandy, there was a bunch of bikers there that sold, like, Dickie some drugs. Do you uh, think they would sell to you? Oh, I'm pretty sure they would sell to me if they were there. Perfect. We'll get talking now. Hey, Mike, come on over here to talk with me. What's up? All right. So. Oh, that's not easy. I'll try to get the fucking uh biker club caught up. I have no problem with that. Hey, if they get me out of this drug test, I mean. I'll take it. He didn't want anything. I'm going to give him stuff. He doesn't have any really trust. He's a really sweet guy. He was doing better, and he just got caught up in the battery again. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get him protection. I'll give him as much protection as I can. Uh, I'll hopefully I'll lower his sentence a little bit with the judge and get him out in there. But he's got info on the SOA and how they sell narcotics and use narcotics, as well as who he gets his narcotics from. I'm telling you, man, he's a little fish, but he's got a lot of info on the <laughs> <laughs> he, he's true. No I don't big fish. I don't want to get this shit out, you know. Is
part of the conspiracy, I believe. But, but on the system when I ran it, it came back to the person that had committed the murder, so that's why I'm saying I doubt it was him. <laughs> that would conduct further investigation of the firearm before we make any other decisions. Okay. I'll write it down somewhere. <laughs> Just to make sure uh, his DNA is not on it at all. Or, yeah. Well, his no DNA, DNA is on it. But, it. but the murder was committed a good amount of time ago. Okay, I can, I'll buy it from where he was, scan it to that he wasn't there, and that he could not have been murdered. Alright, I'll start running all the info down for track of things. Investigation. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get back to this investigation. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, I'm telling you, we're going to get a big fish here. SOA's going down. SOA's going down. They sure they are. I'll try to think about it. Okay. All right, partner. So I'm going to try to track down some more info on this uh, firearm using this crime, but when did you get this gun? And the gun? Well, I mean, from what I was told when I got the gun, I bought it from some hillbilly uh, his, his, before I allegedly he passed away that I saw on the news. His name was Billy Willie, but he said the gun was sold five different times, and the the owner that owned it before, his name was Bruce Knight. That's coming up. So I don't believe that you were involved in this murder, so I'm not going to charge you with it. So I would never kill anyone, man. Mr. Flowers. Yeah. I'm going to have you sign a few things, and basically... I promise you, do you have any really requests, if you were to become an informant for myself, do you have any requests you'd want to help you out here? I mean, as long as I know that the SOA is going to be at their place and we set up a time and date to do this, I'll be there. Maybe I can bring Dickie along. Dickie doesn't got to know nothing about this. I'll just pretend like, you know, it's a normal day of us hanging out. Go there, you know, wear some wires or whatever. And, you know. Let me give you my email. Do you know my email? Uh, my, like, Discordia email? Oh, yeah. You want to just, if you shoot me a shout through there, it's the same name and all. I don't know if you know what that is. You can find it probably. Shoot me a message through there, and that's how we can figure this out, okay? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Do you want me to, I can have you sign like a paper saying you're becoming an official format with some like written rules I can help you with. Uh, basically, what I can do for you, we can lower your sentencing. It would give you a better word with the judge in dropping some charges, as well as for the fact of that. Uh, I can give you protection. We can get a unit watch yeah, and all that. I, sure I, def I, de I definitely try to get them down because, you know, I was there and, you know, it's, it's, it's some stuff happened that I don't really want to talk about. But, you know, I went to jail for it. But, you know, the bikers were there trying to protect me and they said that they would stop you guys from coming in there, which I thought that was cool of them, you know. Some, some guys, you know, and if I'm in trouble, they're going to help me out. But then you guys showed up and then all of a sudden they just, you know, they... they, they you know, they shoved their... They flaked. Yeah, they flaked it. They put their panties on, and they got scared, and then I went to jail. Yeah, no, that's how they are. They're degenerates. I've already been yeah. in that bar a few times doing investigations. Trust me, man. We're getting deep in there. I want them out of this town. I'm tired of what they're doing. Oh, yeah. They've so already I, killed man. a few too many officers. Yeah, I want them out of here, too. I went to the bar, and then 
Their, their pool table, it just smells in there. It's disgusting. They're dickheads, too. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, they, they are. Yeah, they, they, they sat there and said that they'd protect me, and then you guys show up, and they don't protect me. So they call themselves, like, uh, badass bikers. They ain't badass. All right, then. I can do you a favor on charging and sentence. I appreciate it, man. So, what I can do is, I can't get rid of much. I have, There's four main charges I have to keep. I have to keep a felon in possession of a firearm. I can't get rid of that one because you are a felon and there was a firearm in your possession. Understandable. I have to keep both the narcotics. There's actually three narcotics. But what I can get rid of is I can get rid of stolen property, receiving stolen property. Oh, I appreciate that. I, I, That's I, a class B felony. I can technically get rid of it as I'm already charged with enough. I appreciate that because I, I... And didn't, you sh oh, Go ahead. Yeah, because I didn't mean to steal anything, man, if it... Yeah, you didn't realize it was stolen. I, I, I'm guessing you slightly realized it was stolen, but don't tell me that, because if you tell me that, then I have to keep it. Oh, I didn't And it's also, know. it's a very hefty fine, so let's try to, we're going to remove that one. Um, but, it looks like you'd have to go to jail for 600 months, but I'm going to try to work a deal out, and I'm going to try to get you 250 or 300. I appreciate it, man. It's not great, but it's a lot less, and then since you're going to become a UC, you will get the option for bail, and you'll be able to bail out. Or if you just, you know, serve a few seconds, you know what I mean? You'll be out. All right, man. Feel, just don't mind. Shoot me a message on the Discordia so I have your contact info, and then you just keep me updated, okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll set up a day when I see that the bikers are in town, you know, send you a message. Actually, here, I'll give you my phone number as well. Yeah. I don't think I got my phone on me. Everything was taken away. Yep, I'm going to slide it through the cell door. I know what I took off you. Here you go, Mr. Mickey. Trust me, I know what I took from you. Do you want to airdrop me your phone number? Airdrop uh, me mine. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to use an iPhone, man. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah do you want to just stick to Discordia then? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to that. Yeah, I don't know how to work that phone either. Yeah, I don't, I don't too either. It's, it's too new. I came here and I went to go buy a new phone. They said, "Here's an iPhone." I'm like, "I want an Android." They're like, no, we got iPhones for you. <laughs> I don't know how to use yeah, this stuff. Enough. It's like backwards. All right, give me one second to go in my head for one second, then we're gonna get you shipped. All righty, man. That's all. Wonder if Dicky joined. Flowers. Yep. All right. So the maximum I can do is 750, but I worked out with a supervisor. The max I can give you right now, or I have to give you, is 400. Are you all right with that? I know I said 350. But... Yeah, that's fine, man. Do what you got to do. I understand. Doing your job. All right. I apologize, but hey, keep talking to me. We can get you out of trouble more, and hopefully we can get your records sort of cleared up and get yeah, your yeah, job and all don't that. Don't worry. When I see them back in town, I'll shoot you a message. We'll set something up, and we'll get them in. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mickey Sticky Flowers is in jail, but when I get out, when I see that the SOA is on, I've been there to set up a sting, and we're going to get him, ladies and gentlemen. I've been telling Dicky I kind of wanted to do that after, since they said they were going to save me, but then they put their panties on and they let the cops come in, even though they said that they would drag and throw the cops out that they're not coming in. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him, and I'm going to set this all up. But Mickey's back in jail. You know, obviously, there's a little bit of a video that you know was pretty long and I snipped and put together for you guys and you know obviously you know this is what happened you know and sometimes when you buy a gun or get a gun off the streets you know you don't know who had it before you don't know where that gun has been used and what's happened with that gun and it just comes back there is a murder and stuff in there and I kind of wanted to do something where you know get Mickey jumped up with charges and it's not him because like I didn't know that gun was killed and you know so it's basically you know Stuff happens. It is what it is. Mickey's in jail, but he's getting out. Of, he's got a lot of charges cut off, and he's gonna help out the pigs. And normally, he doesn't like doing that, but when it comes to those SOA guys, yeah, they said they were gonna save me, and they didn't even fucking save my ass that day. And I had to walk out of that bathroom, and uh, no, no, we're, not, we're not gonna talk about what happened afterwards. But yeah, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.